there have been some arguments that have happened on Google Plus with someone that I consider very, very intelligent. I have never tried to make it sound like he's not intelligent. I'm just not a big fan of the way he discusses things, but whatever. Um, but I was made out in this comment section in question, well, it's actually a Google Plus post, that I don't understand how dictionaries work. You know, I've made videos about, about this before. I understand how dictionaries work. Dictionaries do not define words. Society defines words, and they usually end up getting put in a dictionary. Sometimes the dictionaries are behind, sometimes the dictionaries slightly differ than society's definitions, but generally, dictionaries will shove forth the viewpoints that society has about a word. So, let's go this way. Now, to me there are, something that's been a bit of a pet peeve of mine is when people will refuse to look at what someone is saying because they're not using the dictionary definitions of something, okay? And that is, I can understand people's qualms with people not using the dictionary definitions of something. I think it's sad that people don't want to spend the effort, the mental effort, to try to figure out what the person is saying. But, you know, whatever. Um, but... It's when people go a step further and demand that people don't even use the dictionary definitions, that the dictionary definitions aren't good enough. It's when they start to demand that people use the academic definitions of things. Oftentimes the sociological study uh, version, uh, academic version of a word. Now, the issue that I take with the sociological studies of things is when they try to redefine a word. To me, I mean, sociology tries to get people to look at problems in society differently than we normally have. They want us to take a different approach. Let's get the spider webs off the camera. They're all over me, but um, they want people to take a different approach to, to, to issues in society, which is a good thing in general for to get people to break things apart differently. But in my opinion, If you introduce a new concept, then you should give that new concept a new word. Doesn't matter if it's an old problem. If you have introduced a new approach, you should introduce a new word. You shouldn't just redefine old words that people have used the same way for decades and decades, or even centuries. Don't try to redefine things like that. I, I think that's crap. You may disagree with me on that, but, you know, until, until society generally defines things this new way, you can't honestly expect people to use these new definitions. It's not realistic. 
man, this trail just hasn't been walked in a long time. I'm at Orange Gate Properties on the north side of the street. Um, so, here's my thing. Okay, I'm gonna give one warning. Okay. If you try If you start harping on me or honestly anyone that's in my comment section because they're not using the sociology study the uh, academia definition of a word but they are using the dictionary definition of the word and you're gonna harp on them and tell them how wrong they are for not using the academia version I will give you one warning this is on YouTube this is on Google Plus this is on Facebook I will give you one warning. And if you continue to try to preach that they should have, they should be using the definition that is not in dictionaries, that is not common, and you do this after the warning, you will be, you will be blocked and your messages will be deleted. I will not put up with academia snobbery. Period. If you want to talk about the concepts, fine. But don't get after people for not using the new definition that you don't find in dictionaries. Thanks.